Hi everyone. Today I'm here with my husband Scott and we're going to try the DIY marble mug. That's uh, one I saw on Pinterest and my husband is here because honestly he is more creative than I am and a better artist. So I figure we'll both do a mug and you know see how they turn out. So I'm going to pick this old color that I have. Uh, the With Pinterest it, what it is is you're taking your old nail polish, putting it in some warm water, and then you'll dip your mug in to create a marbled effect. So the color that I chose is called Antique Bronze. And the color my husband has, it's there on the bottom. It's Cuckoo for this color. And, <laughs> and he likes green, so I figured it's a good color for him. And then we just had like a kind of a this is actually a sheer French manicure nail enamel. Uh, figure, kind of mix this in and uh, see if you know can help create some different colors along with it. So the Pinterest says to drip the color into the warm water. So we'll do some dripping. You don't need to use the whole thing, honey, in case I want to use some more nail polish at some point. Okay, and do a little bit of this. Probably should have dipped mine more than spread it. Yeah, I got some drips that sunk to the bottom. I did too. Um, but then it says take a um, toothpick or something else that you can stir it around, kind of create patterns. Actually, it does look kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can see. I do have a separate camera over here that I'm going to try to get some close-ups as we're doing this. Uh, okay. Um, put your thing there. Yours is kind of Mine's kind of breaking up and... Yeah, it's already hardening. It's probably why it... Mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll, uh, I'll just start dipping. Yeah, just start it's dipping salvaging. and let's see what happens. It might be because the water's not... Warm enough? You could probably try pulling that layer off. and So try not to get it around the mouth of the cup because you're supposed to be able to put right. something on it. And these mugs I did get at the dollar store. So, you know, if this doesn't work, it's just a dollar. And of course, I tell you not to get around the top, and I do. I made a seahorse. <laughs> a seahorse? I'm not sure. Actually, that does look like a seahorse. That's actually kind of creative. See, like I said, this is why my husband's here. He is creative without even trying. Uh, yeah, I don't think it works so well. <laughs> well, <laughs> More that's of a, a snot ball and what else <laughs> stuck to it. Mine looks kind of neat, but I didn't really have enough to make it around to the other side of the mug. Uh, I wonder if I wipe it off and just drip and not swirl. Yeah, well, you can try it on the other side. I already did. Well, I was going to say, you, to wipe that side off. Yeah, it wipes right off. Mm. Yeah, get a paper towel. Let's see. Uh, it did say, uh, after this, you need to cover it with an acrylic um, to kind of seal it. And it said, of course, don't put any of the sealer around where you're going to be drinking from. And, of course, I got to the top rim of the cup, so I probably got a little too high on that one. Uh, the other thing it had mentioned in the uh, Pinterest article about it was that these uh, this design is not uh, dishwasher uh, safe and it's just hand wash only. I don't know if I'd be drinking out of them anyways. It, for me, it'd probably be more just for decoration and a fun drop project to try. Um, so that's how mine turned out. Okay, I wiped off my seahorse. He wiped off his seahorse. Okay, he's gonna you wipe the whole thing off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's. Do you need a. You can probably warm up your water if you think you need to. I'm going to set mine down over here. This one's come back with hopefully warmer water. It seemed like when I dripped from higher up, they sunk all the way to the bottom and didn't come back to the surface. So I'm going to try to leave it on the surface by pouring it closer. Okay, well, we'll try some of that. And I did not 
going to use the toothpick. I'm just going to dip and see what happens. It's interesting. <laughs> Your seahorse might have been a little more creative. Yeah, it looks kind of... You only got like half of the mug. Too. Yeah, that's... Well, it's stuck because it pulls it up. Okay. A little bit messy looking. Uh, in theory, I think this was a good idea. Um, I know the article did say it does take practice. Um, I don't know. I, I think for us, they kind of look like a kid's project. So. For us, I would deem this as a Facebook, or not Facebook. Pinterest fail. So for us, I would deem this a Pinterest fail. Yeah, it looks like paper mache. Looks like, yeah, it does. Like it. Tissue paper, colored tissue paper. It does look wetted. like colored tissue paper wetted. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stick around. We'll do uh, more Pinterest videos and see if we can get a good one or if we keep failing. Subscribe and like our channel and post any comments you guys have. Thanks.